if you'd like to give your thoughts on that achievement and Leeds being back in the Premier League. Well, congratulations you not know, just to Marcelo Bielsa, uh, all Leeds United uh, is an historic uh, team uh, after I think 16 years come back and uh, yeah, will be good to go to to play in his stadium to play against them and an exceptional job. It was not easy mentally for the club after exceptional last season at the end could not be promoted to the Premier League. They did it one year later. So it means how consistent they were and how difficult it is to win the championship and go to the Premier League. So big congratulations. Pep, just just on Biel, sir, can you tell me what what he means to you, what influence he's been on you, how you view his coaching? to me no no you're good now you're good no? now uh, yeah. sorry <laughs> so i was not uh, his uh, his player so it's difficult for me to talk about him not being there uh, but i know the reference and the influence for a thousand million players that uh, they were with him and an opinion but i was lucky i'm lucky to sometimes have the opportunity to talk to him to see him and i think for the world football with uh, his ethics with his behavior for the special way he plays is um, an authentic manager for because no other manager in the world can play the way he plays. You can learn a lot about his own style. His product, his final product is always incredible personal. Don't imitate him. No one can imitate him. And that makes him heal so, so special. And I, I'm think honestly, for the... Uh, it's my personal opinion. For the English football, it will be incredible to be in the Premier League next season and learn about him on him, his teams, the way he played. It's interesting you say that because Johan Cruyff won major trophies, you've won major trophies, Bielsa's not won the same trophies, but see, people have a lot of reverence for him. That means more than the titles you can win. Win the titles always help you, help you to have more jobs. Maybe you have job the next season, but when at the end of your life, when you remember, is not the titles you won. Uh, what you remember are the memories you had with the teams you were, with the players you had, or who you could give them. So I have the memories as a football player. The manager would teach me a lot, not the titles I won as a manager because or as a football player, because the day after is all being forgotten. It's the same way. You, you spend a, a bad, bad night after Arsenal game, but the day after is forgotten. And when you win a title, it's completely the same. You are happy that night, but the day after is forgotten. And, and what you remember is the experiences, the memories, the good moments you had with your players, with your uh, managers you had. And I think Marcelo can have, is in the top of the list of this, absolutely the top of the list. And, and, and that's why. So, because the knowledge you have as a manager is not depends on the results you have. The knowledge is the knowledge. And also, not only the players can know your capacity as a manager, because the media and even other the people judge about the results, but the managers, uh, the players, judge the managers through the knowledge that the manager has. And I think no doubts about the quality of this manager, Marcelo Bielsa, about uh, his knowledge through the comments, the experiences, the players they were uh, with him. Thank you. Welcome. James from Talk Sport, please, guys. Pep, are you happy with the response you've seen from your players to Saturday night's defeat at Wembley? Uh, I didn't see them this two days match, so I don't know. How do you want them to respond to the game? Be ourselves. You beat Watford 8 0 at home earlier on this season. One, How cl- one century ago. How close do you think you are to? Replicating that type of performance one century ago is impossible you, to replicate this. But do you think you can match that type of performance before the end of the season? Or even one reference about that game. The manager was different. The, in that moment, we were playing to win the Premier League. Now he has already done. They played to survive. In that moment, was different. So if we would play right now against uh, Arsenal, the game would be different. So. 
So we cannot compare about this. <laughs> and just finally from me, you're nearing the end of your fifth season as a Premier League manager. How do you think the division and the style of play in the division has changed in that time? I learned a lot. I learned a lot about the Premier League, I learned a lot of myself, the players we had. And every game is an experience and learn about the opponents, about your, your, your team. So no doubts. Thank you. You're welcome. John Farrell, please, guys. Hi, Pat. Um, you just mentioned then you're coming to the end of your fourth season in charge. It's the first time you've done four seasons at a club since um, Barcelona in 2011-12. That was a year when Real Madrid got lots of points to win the league. You maybe dropped more points than in other seasons. There were political things off the field. I, I might be finding too many comparisons there, but are there particular challenges when you've been at a club for you and for the players when you've been in the same job for so long have you found sort of similar difficulties this season as towards the end at Barcelona is, is it tougher the longer it goes on as much you are with one team you have an advantage the positive things but in the same time after a win a lot you have sometimes a little bit uh, difficulties to to handle the situation so but I'm so excited for the end of these two weeks we have ahead for preparing a special Madrid game um, and at the same time excited for the next season so the moment I will lose this excitement or this uh, fire still I have uh, inside of me to, to, to after victories and defeats um, will not be a problem As Simon mentioned uh, Marcelo who famously doesn't spend a lot of time at many clubs he maybe does one year two year for coaches of Marcelo's style and maybe of your style as well, is it is it is that the challenge to be intense but always keep the players sort of on board with the message? Is that the biggest challenge? Yeah, but at the same time, for myself, I'm talking for myself, for Marcelo, uh, for myself, also is a, a challenge for me. I've never been five five years in 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 one club, and also it's a challenge for me to prove myself to see if I'm able to maintain the level that we had in the previous seasons. So, and in one world that uh, everyone sack everyone, so the managers to keep in the job for a long time is so difficult uh, because you just take a look, you know, all the clubs before in England was an exception, but now it's not anymore. So it depends on the results and be if it's season make me so proud for our staff, our backroom staff, for our players. They help me to, to be here for this season. So the managers depend on the results. And it's a challenge. It's a challenge for me how we're going to react with uh, almost a lot of players together, maintain this level. Thanks. From the body embargo, please, guys, with Fred. Uh, hi, Alex. Uh, is it possible to do it in the embargo session? Sorry. No problem, guys. If we embargo for 10.30, Fred, if we start with...